wanted to oh here's my little handsome sauce hi boo boo boy you know what let me introduce you to him since he's always in the picture this is my little lover bachi why you say hi to everybody yes he's an angel sent from i know you're an angel you're an angel sent from god anywho that's my little lover who is always in the background now he's gonna cry because he wants my i know you want mommy's products right i know Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face of all drugstore products, some new, some old, to create this beautiful look. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could also ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday between one and two-ish. So yeah, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel like make comments ring the bell tell your friends help a newbie out i would so so appreciate that and thank you so so much for helping me grow this channel and without further ado let's get started on this video so i did have a doctor's appointment um the other day and of course in my travels you know I said, let me just drive around so you know i stopped at a couple of drug stores and i did end up at cvs and i picked up some goodies so yes, let me just show you what I picked up. Um, this was new. This is the new, and let me just preface, um, I haven't worn full coverage in a long, long time. But this is the new CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation, 24-hour full coverage. Oh, I'm going to try it. Um, SPF of 18. It says primer, concealer, and foundation in one for a naturally flawless finish, 24 hours wear, sweat proof, humidity proof, covers imperfections. Yeah, it's a lot of them. But anyway, so we are definitely, definitely going to try this. Um, this I picked up and I know, I want to say, this was like months ago, this, um, this came out, but I recently... Um, was like binging and I came across Lisa J's um, one of Lisa J's videos that um, she was so so impressed actually I think her assistant picked out her makeup God, I want to say probably a year ago but anyway she did mention this that she was in love with so I picked that up and I believe this is also new this is the Revlon so fierce these are um, eyeshadow palettes let me see there you go there were a few of them and there was one that had this beautiful like teal blue I'll see if I can find a picture and I will post it. And, I, and I, I'm like, mm, I really was honing on that color, but I really wanted to keep like a neutral scheme. So I figured this would absolutely be perfect. This is called um, That's So Dub. That's So Dub. Yeah, it looks so cool. I love the embossing on that. Can you see that? So we're going to absolutely try this. Girl. I went to 50,000 um stores to find this maybelline sky high mascara actually i did not pick this up at cvs now that i'm thinking about it i went all over um online to look for it everything was sold out i did end up at cvs and i was listening to another girl talk about it i'm like girl i'm looking for the same thing you know and usually they have like you know you look through the like the mascara like the revlon the maybelline and the l'oreal but usually when they have new products coming out they always have um they always have it like in the front. There was nothing. So I ended up going late at night with my daughter. Girl, let's take a drive. Let's take a drive. We ended up in um, Walmart, like five, six, seven towns over. This little lover, somebody must have left it behind because it was all the way in the back, all alone. There was none left. So I'm like, oh, like, I, like I felt like I was stealing it. I was like this. Okay, girl, let's go. Mama's done. So I picked this up. I'm so super excited to try that. Oh, God. Now, if anybody has seen my um, previous video about putting on eyelashes, while I was editing it, I was cracking up. I'm trying to put... I don't, I don't wear false eyelashes. I don't know how, but I really love them. I really want to try. I'm trying to put on an eyelash. I'm like this. I was nowhere, nowhere near my eyelashes. It was so freaking funny. I was cracking up um, editing it, but, but I will leave it linked down below. So I had the nerve and I had the audacity and I had the nerve and the audacity and the nerve yeah i'm gonna these are the magnetic lashes and i did pick up and these are from the um ardell magnetic naked lashes and i'm gonna make it up like i know what i'm talking about they're in 422 so these are 
these are these are them these are them and then I picked up the um, the magnetic liner liquid now I will tell you I tried um, magnetic liners in the past but it was like in the pod it was like the eyeliner in the pod and you had to yeah so anyway that is what we're gonna be doing today we are doing a full face of new and old drugstore makeup um, yeah so I'm gonna just zoom you in a little bit and um, let's get going okay cool I'm all up in your business now all right so I did moisturize I have my uh, face moisturizer on I have my sunblock on and I will tell you like the sunblock is the CeraVe which you know I've only spoke about a bajillion times but it, it is sheer tint I mean not that it, you could tell but I just want you to know it is a sh uh, it's got like a sheer tint on it let's see should I put my hair back let's try like this for now and let's see and now uh, you know we'll see how that works I will tell you I'm a little nervous about the full coverage I I like a good solid medium and I really did want to put um the elf poreless primer here but I don't want to do anything extra to see if this foundation works so yeah, we're gonna leave it Ella Natural. Oh, and by the way, this is an 840 natural beige. I have no idea if this is the color. It looks, I mean, it, it looks pretty goodish. We'll see. We'll see. So what I'm going to do first, first I'm going to shake it up. And what I think I'm going to do is I've noticed lately that when I dab like spots on my face, I think it gives me better coverage. So I'm going to start with that. And then what I want to do is, let me see, where's my dog on brush? I think I'm going to use, um, start off with the BK Beauty. This is the 106. I'm just going to press it in and then buff it. And then we're going to go um, over it with, um, with my sponge. Which, by the way, I can't find my other sponge. I'm trying to think the last time I did a video. Where the heck was I? I don't remember. But anyway, that's a brand new sponge. And, uh, you know, these blessings, I don't even know how long I had that sponge. So maybe, you know, the universe was giving me a sign. Girl, you got to get a new sponge. So here we go. Okay, cool. So I just want you to, it is glass. Don't mind my nails. They're a hot mess. But we have been doing some serious um, renovation here. So what is the point of getting your nails done? It's a mess. The pump a Rooney. Uh, I did a pump and a half. So this is what it looks like. It's, ooh, it's very watery. So I just want to actually start off here. And it's very, see, I don't get it. Like on the monitor, it looks so, so beautiful. Like, I don't know if you can even tell, but on my face, it is so freaking pink. But we'll see, we'll see. So I'm gonna just start off at the cheeks and then I'm gonna work my way around because it is full coverage we will see of course i'm getting like all these blemishes from my masks like all these cute little whiteheads but whatever it is what it is and i'm going to take this down my neck death he's my little boyfriend but he i know baby boy you want mama's attention right yeah i get it sweet lover i get it all right, so let me just um, get a little closer. Okay, so I'm gonna just go in with my sponge and just smooth out any kind of brush strokes that I see. Okay, so let's see, right off the bat, like, hmm, it is pretty, but like, I could still see like the hyperpigmentation. I have, like I said, I have some little pimples. I could still see, like you see that mark right over there. So I, I mean, it does say full coverage. I don't know about that. I'm gonna just go in with a tiny, 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 tiny bit. And I'm gonna just see if I could just spot conceal with the foundation. It's a little bit more. I don't know guys, I really have such a hard time with foundation. It's so tricky, 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 tricky. And then of course this little lover over here that I can't stand, but it is what it is. But anyway, yes. Yeah, so um, I'm just curious, leave me some comments down below. Like what have you guys picked up from the drugstore? I haven't really been 
out picking up drugstore products oh my gosh in such a long time you guys so leave me some comments down below what what have you picked up from the drugstore i'm so super curious okay uh let's see i'm gonna just change hands here this looks pretty stinking good i'm gonna stop there and let's see yeah so let's just stop there because um i want it to absorb it does say it does say it's a primer concealer and foundation We'll see. We'll see how it works. And it is 24 hours, but who the heck wears their stuff for 24 hours? Not me. But with the concealer, um, I did um, pick up this Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer in Light 15, I want to say last year, which I love. I do love a brightening eye effect. I don't think I have dark circles. I always say that. I don't think I have dark circles, but, and if I do, it really doesn't bother me. So I'm going to just do a tiny dab right over here because I, I know from experience this is super super light which I love which I super love so and um, yeah I'm gonna start off with my fingers as usual I'm gonna just start off with my fingers yet yeah, actually that's not as light as I remembered it really isn't that is really pretty I had forgotten how beautiful this is and then I'm gonna take my um, where is it? Yes, my Rare Beauty Concealer Brush that I adore. And of course, I will link everything down below. That's really pretty. It looks so light in the monitor, but here it looks super, super nice. I just want to do, let me see, this is the neutralizer. I was going to spot conceal, but I think I have plenty on. Looks pretty good. So far, so good. Okay, so I am absolutely loving that. And let's see, let me just take all this stuff off my hand. Okay, so my next product um, that I picked up, I want to say probably at Walmart last year, is this L'Oreal Bronze Please um, Bronzer. Now, I know this was... Even prior to last year, they had, um, this was like their summer collection. It was the bronzer. It was um, a glowy, like, um, lotion. And then the blush, which I, and it, you couldn't find it anywhere. After, like, you know, the summer was over or that campaign was over, you could not find it anywhere. So I do remember that I did order this um I want to say from Walmart, but online that I had to go pick up. There was nothing in their stores. And it does, I just want to... Just to note, there is like a little bit of shimmer, if you could see that. So be careful, like if you have like textured skin, you know, be careful with the shimmer in here. So, um, and let's see, I think I'm gonna take um, the number five, the refer number five, and I'm just gonna dab it just like this, and just, and this takes them off, and I'm gonna start off right up here. It's still beautiful, look at that. It is still beautiful, can you see that? It is so pretty. I guess I should have put my hair up. But I'm going to go gingerly, like, and I'm going to keep this down here because I really don't want any, like, extra shimmer. Okay, this is really pretty. Gosh, I have forgotten how beautiful this really is. I'm going to just pinch, and I always say this, I'm going to just pinch my brush. I don't contour, but I like to learn a couple of new things. And I try. That is so pretty. I'm going to take it down the jawline. Now, you could tell this is darker than my skin. So we're going to take this all the way down the neck. That is so super pretty. Mmm. I'm really, really liking this. Like, And the more, like, the more the foundation sits, like, other than, like, right over here that I think was, you know, my doing, it looks so pretty. Mm, that looks so, so pretty. So I did pick this up in 15 Nude Burn. So this is what it is right here. It is uh, Maybelline Cheek Heat, and it is a cream. Let me see, what the heck does this say? This is a, do, a gel cream product. So let's see. Let me just pop this off. I, my nails have not been this atrocious in such a long time. But like I said, your girl's been building beds, cabinets you know moving stuff so what is the point they're going to break anyway so i'm going to just put it on my hand first oh so i just put like that much on it right over there you see that so that's it right there so i'm going to just oh that is beautiful that is so so pretty i did not expect that i did not expect that at all so i think i'm going to 
just use my finger to oh you know what it is very very sheer like it almost feels like it almost feel like you could feel the gel consistency in this it is so pretty though okay so i'm just dabbing it on and then i want to take the uh let me see here i'm gonna take the bk beauty uh 208 and i'm gonna just pounce this like this just to put it in my skin Ooh, that is so pretty isn't that nice it does have a little glisten but not as much as i thought so that's a that's a good thing that is a good thing so i'm gonna just put some on my hand and this is exactly what i'm doing i'm just putting it on my hand and now i'm gonna just smile and i like that i thought it was going to be more opaque but i like that you can play with it it's beautiful Ooh, isn't that nice i love that and of course if you ever you know think you made a mistake just go over it like with your foundation tool and just like you could always like you know shear out the edges if you feel like you have too many harsh lines that is so so pretty that i'm not that i did not expect i i don't know what i expected this does not feel like your usual cream um blush i guess because it's got that gel in it this feels different it doesn't feel like a traditional um cream blush that is so so pretty okay so here's the deal i picked up this wet and wild this is the reflect shimmer palette on, let me see if you could there you go on the recommendation of Melissa Mrs. Melissa M yes Mrs. Melissa M she mentioned this probably I don't know eight nine ten months ago and this is an I'll have a Cosmo and same thing it was beautiful on her skin now granted she's got a completely different skin tone and I couldn't find it anywhere I think I got it on Amazon it is so freaking pretty look how beautiful that is now of course, I have this one as well, the um, the Revlon Skin Lights, which is absolutely beautiful. Let me open that up for you because so you could see it properly. I mean, how gorgeous is that? But we may even, you know what? We may even put them both on. I actually thought like these two worked well together and they do. But, you know, I wanted to try something different that I haven't tried on the, my channel before. So we're going to go with this one. And like I said, this is the Wet n Wild um, I'll have a Cosmo. So let me just grab my highlighter brush. Oh, that's not it. Okay, cool. I have two of these, which I adore. These are the Real Technique um, setting brushes, but I use them like you see that little H right there. I had to, I had to write on it because a couple because I use the same one as my under eye. By the way, I did not put my under eye can uh, powder on. But that's okay. I have one powder that we're just going to use all over. But anyway, girl, you do not want to get highlighter underneath your eyes so I had to label it okay so I'm going to just put it I'm going to just use my brush and fill it up and if I'm not mistaken like I've worn this once or twice not on camera and it is so look at that it is so pretty it's got like that oh isn't that beautiful you see that it's got a little bit of well a lot of the pink but ever so gingerly you have a little bit of brown in there. It is so, let me see here. Let me swatch it first. And on the finger, it's like, it really doesn't look like it's a big deal. Does it look like a big deal here? Not really. It really doesn't even look like a big deal here. You see that? But on the face, it is so doggone pretty. That is so beautiful. So I'm going to just put this on the high points of my look at that isn't that beautiful wow i am so glad i dug that up so i'm going to just put some on the tip of my nose on my cupid's bow a little bit over here i may just keep this out on my bathroom vanity and continue to use it let me just see how's it feeling over here i'm going to just set my face let me just make sure and i'm going to set it with the wet and wild photo focus loose setting powder and this is let's see here is there an is there a color on this bad boy this is translucent and this is exactly what i like in my powder so let me just show you real quick so that's what it is you know it's nothing new but it's new to me because i don't think i've ever used this so and i do like my powders translucent because i don't want to um distort the color of what i put on my face so i'm just i just have that much there you go just have that much in the cat, I'm gonna just use the number five and I'm just swirling and tapping. 
And then let me just, before I go, I'm going to just go around my face first. That's pretty. And I don't want to like, you know, take off all of the glow. And actually, let me see here. Yeah, that's good. This is, I mean, this, this is, this is small enough. I'm going to just put a little bit more. And like I said, I'm going to just go right in my T-zone because I love that. And I, you know, I like this glowiness. I may go back and put some more blush on. You know how that goes. So that's cool. And then let me just double check everything underneath my under eye. Um, I just want you to know I am in my 50s and it does not matter what kind of concealer I have, whether it's expensive, not expensive, um, sheer, full cover, it does not matter, it freaking creases. If by any grace of God, any of you mature women out there have some kind of magic potion of a concealer that does not crease, leave me some comments down below. They just, they just don't, they crease. So I'm going to take, again, my uh, Real Technique brush that I adore. No H on this one. There's no highlighter. And I'm going to pick up the same uh, Wet n Wild. I'm going to take most of it off and just brush underneath just to set that you know see already that like the cheek i want my cheeks a little bit darker like i in here it looks so beautiful but in the monitor oh my god are you okay did you sneeze boyfriend you scared mama okay i am so super excited to try this out right over here like i said it's the revlon um so fierce eyeshadow palettes and i believe these are new I believe these are new and this is called that's a dub aren't these absolutely beautiful so i am going to just um you know do the usual actually you know what let me i'm not even afraid to touch them look how beautiful they are they look like they're all shimmers but let me see Ooh, isn't that beautiful oh wow these are gorgeous let me just go through them real quick look how beautiful they are so I'm going to just speed this up just a little bit and uh, yes, let's get going. Okay, so that looks really, really good. I will tell you full disclosure, I am not like a shimmery kind of girl. And other than this color right over here, the rest of these are pretty shimmery. So that's why when I started off with, um, I think I started off with this color right over here. I was like, mm-mm. So um, I did most of my eye with this color right over here. And then I, um, on my eyelid, I did put this on. And then in my inner cord in there, I used this. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. It doesn't have like this pow, pow like opacity, which I like because I like to build because sometimes like these newer um, products or these more advanced products kind of intimidate people. So, and that's not what I want to do. I don't, I want like women, especially my age to like enjoy the product and don't feel like, oh my God, I it did too much. It looks too harsh. So I like um, eyeshadows that you can build. So by the way that you can build like this one right over here that I'm using the mirror on of the BK Beauty, I adore. But um, I really, really love that. It is so, so beautiful. And like I said, just for me personally, let's see, let me just blend that out a little bit. Just for me, like personally, I don't like all this shimmer up here because to me, it just feels like it shows too much of my texture, but it is so beautiful. For some reason, like this color um, looks brown. This color looks brown to me, sort of, but now when I look at it in the monitor and on my eyes, it's got like this beautiful, beautiful, kind of like a plum kind of look. It is so beautiful. So we're going to leave it at that. And then I do have... Um, the Revlon Stay Eyeliner, and this is in, let me see, this is in black brown, so I am going to just tight line, and you know what, the more I'm thinking about it, um, I really, 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 really want to try this Sky High Mascara, like, in its full force, so um, I'm going to save the eyelashes, I'm going to save the eyelashes for, like, another time, because I really, really want to coat um, my eyelashes with this new mascara, so... Um, let me go off camera. I'm going to use the eyeliner and I'm definitely going to try this mascara. And we are so super, super talking about this mascara as soon as I get back. 
I did put my eyeliner on, but you know what? I think I want to um, film this mascara because, um, yeah, I want you guys to see it. But of course, I will speed it up. It's the Sky High uh, Maybelline mascara that everyone has been raving about. So, yeah, so let's just try it. Oh, I like the, uh, is this the, yes. So I like the bristles. They are super, super small. I will tell you, I love, love, love the mascaras that I use. I'm not gonna lie, I have a hard time underneath because most of them are very like full brushes. This one's, look how cool that is. You see that? That is so, that's interesting. So yep, yeah, let's just try this lover and uh, yes, wish me luck that we don't make a mess. Okay, I am in love with this mascara. This is just one coat. I adore, adore the flexibility of this wand. It is so good. Look, right off the bat, the minute I put it on my eyelashes, I'm like, oh, this is special. This is different. And I traditionally only put one coat. Look how beautiful it is. I mean, you could go on and on. And um, you saw what I'm talking about, like right over here, like frag man, right here, right in the middle of my eye it's so but it is growing back but I'm like so super impressed I, I I'm speechless I am so super impressed I am definitely definitely going to uh, continue to use this wow this is so beautiful I can't stop looking at this friggin mascara my eyelashes look so good they look so so good I'm actually going furniture shopping later on so to me like I'm going out I'm going out, so I need, um, yeah, to put on makeup. I'm going to um, pick up some furniture, or actually, I'm just going to go look for some furniture. But yes, so let's just finish um, this look. I will zoom you out, and then we could just, you know, conclude um, this video. So this is the NYX Professional Makeup, and this is in New Suede Shoes. I absolutely love this color right over here. I am of a pinky nude, of a mauve nude, and actually, um, Allie Glines introduced me to this color last year. It is so friggin' beautiful. Let me just show you. Oof, it is so, so pretty. Isn't that so pretty? It's so nice. So we're, we're gonna line the lips with this. I like to line my upper lip just ever so gingerly. I have to stop saying ever so gingerly, but that's my jam, ever so gingerly. Mmm, isn't that so, so pretty? Ooh, I love it. It's so gorgeous. Let me just look again. Mm, it looks so beautiful and then I do have um, the elf it this is and I, I love nudes actually I did a video of all my nude lip glosses lipsticks it's got to be over a year ago I may just dig it up and um, I will dig it up I'll dig it up and I'll put it down but I'm, I was thinking the other day I would really like to redo it because I have of course so many um, so many more so many more does that make sense I have many more I have much more I have a lot more. That's what I want to say. I have a lot more now. So maybe I'll redo this. But anyway, this is in cream. And like I said, I am like a pinky and mauve kind of nude. Although this is more of like a, a, yeah, it still is. Look how beautiful they look together. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? And of course, if anybody knows me, I am not a lipstick girl. I'm all about the gloss. I was going to say I'm all about the beep, but I'm all about the gloss. This is so pretty. Damn, that looks good. That looks so good. But of course, I am a glossy kind of girl, so I do want to top that off. I picked these up like a while ago when um, e.l.f. came out with their e.l.f. Retro Paradise collection. Um, you know, I really wasn't a fan. I think they had... Um, the palette i can't remember anything else but you know i'm a glossy girl when i saw these lovers i was like mm, i have to pick it up and although they look so so similar this one is uh daggone who could see this one is called strawberry daiquiri Ooh, that is so so pretty and then this one is called tropical fruit punch isn't that nice yeah girl i mean mm, they smell good Oh my gosh, I am in love with the look that we created today. Like I said, I just want to um, put a... Oh, God, girl, you look good. This looks so pretty. I am like so, so, so in love 
with this drugstore product face. It is so, so beautiful. Of course, of course, there are products that do stand out. Um, let's talk about the elephant in the room. This mascara is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Obviously, it's the tip. It's that flexibility. Like the minute I put on my eyelashes, I'm like, no, this is special. This is special. It coats, it thickens, it spreads them out. It's beautiful. It doesn't clump. Are they beautiful? They are gorgeous. So, so beautiful. This right here, yes, it is a standout product. I'm not going to lie. Yes, ma'am. This little lover from Wet n Wild from God knows when of 1912. I don't even know. I have had this in my repertoire at least a year. It is beautiful. I mean, look how beautiful. Look how pretty. It's gorgeous. I am so, so sad that I have this, uh, that I've had this in my repertoire for so long and I barely touched it. This is beautiful. This is going to be on my vanity for tomorrow. And yes, again, like products that I've had in my stash for such a long time that I just didn't grab. I'm so happy. I'm happy that we grabbed these for this video. It looks so freaking good. This NYX uh, Professional Makeup uh, New Suede Shoots Lip Liner in conjunction with this e.l.f. Cream um, Lipstick. Look how beautiful. And of course, these um, Retro Paradise from e.l.f., these glosses. I mean, this is the beautiful combination that I have on my lips. So, so pretty. Yeah, that's it. I'm so, so impressed with these drugstore products, new and old. So let me know what you guys think. Please leave me some comments down below. Do you like these um, drugstore products? Are there drugstore products out there where you have, girl, you have got to try this, that, and this one. You don't know what you're missing. Please leave me some comments down below. And yep, that's it, guys. This is my video of my full face of drugstore products, new and old. You guys be good to each other, love each other, and have a great, great day. Bye.